What's going on, everybody? So I've been absent for a little bit. I just needed to take a breather here. I want to show everybody the update on what the front looks like after the sand, which has been like a little over two weeks. It has grown substantially. And then we'll take a look at the back, which I cut, aerated, kind of uh, sprayed aerate down an aeration product, and then I went and fertilized it, and it's really had a green up too, so I'll show you the back. So let's take a look. pretty windy guys so I hope this doesn't affect the sound but take a look you can totally see all the sand is pretty much gone I mean like this is crazy I really layered it on thick too but it just looks awesome so now there is one spot that that doesn't look good so now what I did here was that I threw some more seed down and then I put this like dirt over it which was like high nutrient soil or whatever. So hopefully this germinates. I've been watering it in, it's rained too. So now we're like probably six days in and I don't see ryegrass germinating. So that's uh, it's a little concerning. Oh, the wind. All right, it's too windy out. I'm just gonna have to take video and kind of talk here because you really can't hear what I'm saying out there. But the grass looks awesome now. It's really long though. And I just really haven't, I've only mowed it once just to kind of pick up the rest of the cores and, and kind of have that sand move around a little, but I have not brought the swordman out. I just don't want the reel to touch the sand. So I think I'm gonna go over it with the Toro today. And then if I don't see any sand or rocks or any pebbles or anything like that, then I'm gonna take the Swarman over, I think it's time. So I think we're like two and a half weeks into it right now. So let's take a look at the back and then we'll do some mowing. All right, this autofocus is gonna, isn't gonna work because I'm really not good with camera settings yet, but check it out. We totally have a green up here. This used to be just completely dormant, like maybe a week, week and a half ago. The aeration really helped. So we're gonna mow this today. I think it's just gonna look better, at least for me personally, because I hate seeing it so overgrown in areas. Um, and then I think I'm gonna do a little liquid nitrogen. I think that's gonna even give it more of a kick here. So one thing that's actually really cool too is, check this out. Okay, autofocus. This was super, super compacted. And, and it always used to look like this, which is just not grown at all. It's hard, but over here, you could see that it's longer. That's what I want. It means that the aeration's working and that this grass is kind of bringing its roots down, getting more nutrients and finally growing. Which, okay, okay, autofocus which is really, really good. So um, let's do some cut. One more thing I have to say before I pull this guy out is, it is just incredible. So if anybody is thinking about buying a Swordman, ask me questions about it. I, I won't rave about it enough because it's just it's just the best. It makes the lawn look awesome. So just to call it the Swordman. So from this part moving forward, my sound cut out, unfortunately. So, but I just wanted to look and show everybody these stripes. I mean, this is, this was incredible. So this is 
the beginning or you know close to the middle of April. This is with the application of starter fertilizer after overseeding a couple weeks ago. Um, this is before I put any iron on or any liquid nitrogen. So like it's just it's awesome. Spring is definitely here. So the last step for the front on this day was to throw down my first application of liquid chelated iron. So I like to do this three or four times a year. And what I really want to do is is just give it its starter dose of iron for the spring here. I think it's going to really help me stay green as we get into the summer months. And it's really going to make everything pop even more right now. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this down on the front. And now tackling the back, I need to get another dose of, of food down on the back. So I'm going with the simple lawn solutions, just liquid nitrogen. Hopefully this will give me just another boost to just green up, soak down into those aerated core holes that I did about three weeks ago and, and just green things up even more.